is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. Moda, make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Hey everybody, you are watching Quilty and today it's one of my favorite uh, mini sub-series within Quilty. This is a This Is My Quilt episode, and welcome, Gudrun Urla, to Thank the show. You. Thanks for having me. It's really cool so that you're you. here. I, I, we're going to talk about your beautiful quilt. We also have to talk about your amazing feat that you did yesterday. Can you <laughs> tell the good people what you did yesterday? Well, uh, yeah, I ran, well, along with 11 other girls, we ran from Madison, Wisconsin, Wisconsin to Chicago, which is... Uh, 200 miles. It was a relay race, right? Yes. And your cool pink thing yes, there. Yes, that was, this is our team color. So. And, and the tattoo oh, yeah. here, the little fake tattoo. There's a little tattoo underneath here. Is that cool or what? I mean, quilters are amazing. Like, they're, quilters are people. So, you know, the more quilters you meet, the more cool people you yeah, meet. Yeah, it's the crazy stuff we do outside of the quilting world. The crazy quilting yeah. stuff we do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> totally. So, um, Gudrun, you your name is Gudrun Erla, um, but you, you there's another name that you go by too. Yeah, and well, I have a last name. Yeah. Erla is not my last name. I've just used that for professionally because my last name is kind of a hard one. I, did I say it right before? Gisla Dotter? Yeah, you're pretty close. Not too pretty bad. And tell me about your name and where you're from. Well, I'm from Iceland, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Icelanders have a, speci a special way to do their last names. Yeah. So if you are a boy, mm -hmm. your name ends with son. And if you're a girl, your name ends with daughter. Right. And you take your father's first name, mm -hmm. and then you add a daughter to it, or a son. So I'm Kisla, daughter. My dad's name is Kisli, so, that's so cool. that is my last name. But wow. it's a tough one to pronounce a little bit in this country. So, so speaking of Iceland and your home, yes. let's go to this quilt. Because yeah. I have you mentioned to me that this is a special motif. This is a very, yes, this is a very traditional um, Icelandic pattern taken from knitting actually oh. and uh, th it's pretty much you are now cast if you're not a knitter if you don't know how to knit if you're Icelandic because it's kind of cold uh, you need you need stuff yes to warm but up. The, the the very traditional Icelandic wool sweater is um, called Lopa Pesa cool it's the ones with the patterned yolks yeah. and if you're a knitter you know you've knitted all in one piece mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which I'm not. You're not. <coughs> well, not. I know how. I know how. Okay, okay, so you're but safe. <laughs> right, but it's not your passion. Quilting it's, is. It, no, quilting yeah. is. Yeah. I, I, and so I got to just make the same pattern just with using fabric. It works so well. Using it together. And so it this is the traditional yeah. kind of yoke um, pattern just put into a quilt. It looks awesome. And it actually doesn't look that difficult. Like, it, it, in terms no. of piecing things, like, I can see basic shapes here. You know, Pretty it's basic, yes. No yes. crazy, crazy things. But I love the p fact that it's something from very traditional roots, but the outcome is pretty modern. Totally, I agree. And we should I should mention two things. One is that you made this quilt. I don't think we actually said that. This is Gudrun's <laughs> quilt, and she designed it and made it herself. But also, we've hung it sideways. Yes. Normally, it would yes. be hung the other way, but you we wanted to see the most yes. that we could. So tell me about the quilting pattern on it. Did you do the quilting yourself? Did you hire it out? I hired it out. Yep. Um, this one is done by Rita Croning, and she does okay. everything free motion. So yeah. she does fantastic feather work. And, um, and I love what she did with the feathers mm -hmm. because it is such a kind of hard line and modern looking quilt. I love the um, traditional feathers kind of Absolutely. soften everything up. Yeah, that contrast yes. is really great. Mm -hmm. And it, it also too, one thing to note about this quilt at home is that it's a high contrast quilt. Whenever you have, you know, you're working with lights and darks. And I happen to know in your work, you do that a lot. I mean, you're, yes. you're pretty high contrast. I like it? contrast, yeah. yes. I don't like things muddled together. That's probably one of the things you will probably recognize. But, um, but yeah, I like contrast. I like to, like to see the pattern and I like to play with play with that. Me too. This one also, um, Icelandic wool is, is what's traditional is using just the color, mm -hmm. the natural color of the sheep. Mm -hmm. And so these are three of the natural colors oh. of the Icelandic sheep. So that was kind of fun because that's very traditional. That's but, so cool. But it's a very modern colorway these oh. days. <laughs> Black sheep, they exist. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that's cool. So let's um, let's talk a little bit more about your work uh, because that's what's so nice about this episode of This Is My Quilt is that you're not just bringing your quilt to show. You have other things because you do this for a living. Yes. Right? You're yes. a quilter for a living. So tell me about this. Well, the quilt is in that book, so the pattern for this quilt. Cool. And it's actually called um, Lopa Pesa, the mm -hmm. quilt. 
Lopapes is the name of the actual Icelandic wool sweater. That's really great. So we had to okay. name it that. So that's in there. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. And this is a uh, this is a newer one, yeah. Yeah, this one just came out this um, this May, and okay. we were just at Quilt Market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, this is the fourth one. I have a series of Fast and Furious mm -hmm. books. This one's called Fast and Furious Home, and um, this uses a special technique. It's everything is done quilt as you go. So you start with your whole piece of backing and batting, baste it mm -hmm. together. And then you piece your units through all the layers. So once you're piecing it, you're quilting it at the same time. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. That was really popular. Georgia Bone Steel did that back mm -hmm. in the day. Back in I the mean, day. you know, people have, have done it, but the, but her quilts didn't look like this. This was this is a very no, different I style like to and kind very of cool. Play with you know, making it more interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I started when I started in the business. I started doing a little bit of those patterns, and and people just seem to love them and want more. So yeah. it's just fun for me to to find kind of different and more interesting things to do and, and this round one was so cool. very fun to make and you don't often see round no. quilts. <laughs> no, you don't see round quilts and I mean maybe some table toppers and yes. things. Oh, I have some of that fabric. But um, <laughs> It's my fabric. Is it really? Yeah, uh, I designed that fabric. Who, um, who do you work with? A Red Rooster Fabrics. Red Rooster, yes. yeah. Good people, really good people. Okay. Um, the, uh, yeah, table topper you see from time to time, but this mm -hmm. is a, sort of a wall hanging, right? Well, you could use it as, use it as a table topper, mm -hmm. but yeah, I love to put my toppers and table runners on the wall. Yeah, totally. I and mean, little spaces and so anywhere, but, but with that method, you can only make smaller things mm -hmm. because you, just, you are starting with your whole piece of backing and batting. Absolutely. So you don't want to be rolling up your whole queen size quilt and trying to get oh, it onto your machine. I've been there. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually no. there now and <laughs> I have a really big quilt on my midarm that's it's, it's going to eat, yes. eat my whole machine. Um, but, but so before we go, uh, we always have too short of a time here on yes. Quilty. Yeah. Tell me, what do you love about, like, when you made this quilt, you know, what sort of zone did you get into? Why do you make quilts? Why do you love doing this? Because clearly you do and you're really good at it. Yeah, well, I started quilting just it interested me. Nobody in my family quilts, hmm. but I just decided to take a class. Sure. And I think I kept going back to it because it was just a place for total isolation yeah. and, and peace. Mm -hmm. Even but still interesting and challenging. Absolutely. For your mind. So I, that's and it just kind of stuck and Absolutely. It's I a still great get to do it. It's, it's a, yeah, a great hobby. Treat. Yeah, it's a total treat. treat it is. That you get to have that as a as your job. And when, yeah, exactly as your job. And then when you're done running um, twenty thousand miles, <laughs> you can sit down and yes. sort of get into a different zone. Yes. That it is has to have that balance. My life is, has to have that two sides. Totally. Me too. <laughs> cool. Good. And thanks so much for coming on Thank the show. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Is there a website that people can visit? Yeah. Um, GE Quilt Designs is my website, cool. and I have a link to uh, my Facebook page and and uh, blog there. So I think you get like a big plate of pasta and a really long nap now. <laughs> Does that sound good? Cool. Yes. Okay, thanks for watching Quilty and uh, you know, watch our show. You meet all kinds of interesting people, learn all about new kinds of quilting techniques and all sorts of things and uh, cool tattoos on the show. So, take care. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havels. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics.